um, research and marketing. But the future is more in service robots. Uh, robots that'll actually help us as humans. So you might see something like this in a shopping mall or an airport. Um, you go into your airport, where's your flight? I don't know where my flight is. I need some help. There's no humans to help me. Ah, but there's Amica. I'm gonna go and ask Amica where my flight is a challenge. That's what no one else has done. So that's why we're really working towards that. So we think it'll probably be another 12, 18 months before we have a, a prototype walking. So there's uh, one speaker there? Yeah, so we've got one speaker in the chest. Um, that's not in the mouth because we can't fit it in there. We've actually got 17 motors in the head at the minute, but um, we're increasing that to more like 25 in the near future. So there's a lot of motors and electronics in the head, uh, so we couldn't fit the speaker in there. The best place to put it is in the chest. What it can't do is ooh. We want to do ooh and fuh. Like so those two lip shapes we're, we're trying to add, but actually it's quite a lot more motors to do that, that uh, those uh, visemes they're called. How many more do you have to fit in? Oh, loads, loads. At the minute there's 51 in the whole robot. Uh, by this time next year, we expect that to be more like 75. And then when we have a walking robot, it's gonna be over 100. Can I take a picture with you? Yes, you may, thank you for asking. You have to look this way. It's been designed to be a development platform. There's a lot of AI and machine learning companies out in the world, and some of them do a really good job. But a lot of them don't actually have a hardware uh, robot to test it out. I'm sorry? What's your favorite song? All by myself.